It's the 19th of July 2023 and we are at Oar Creek near Faversham to start a three-day trip on the Swale, Medway and the Thames. The sailing barge Repertor was the first of a fleet of steel barges built for Horlocks of Misley in 1924. Passing Rhythm Dock, we see the Sem Golf moored on the East Quay, discharging bulk cement. Moored off Queenborough are three local cockle boats, which dredge for cockles in the outer Thames estuary. Alongside Queenborough All Tide Landing Stage is Jetstream's motor cruiser, the Jacob Marley. Moored at the end of the Queenborough moorings is the workboat Rona D. Approaching Garrison Point and the Switzer Tug moorings. We have the Switzer Ganges, Switzer Meridian and the Switzer Vidal. Lying alongside Sheerness docks is the cement carrier Semstar, unloading cement into the silo you can see at the back of the warehouses. Approaching the Isle of Grain, we can see in the distance the Yeoman Bridge discharging granite stones from Glen Sander. Two Hanson dredgers alongside Thamesport, one of them the Arco Dyke and the other the Arco Avon. Alongside the jet fuel terminal on the Isle of Grain is the tanker Sten Neptune. The jet fuel is discharged into tanks at the Isle of Grain and then finally makes its way to Heathrow Airport by pipeline. Coming into view is the recently refurbished GPS Arcadia. She was formerly Bennett's tug, the Christian. Another view of the Hanson dredger Arco Dyke, but this time in the sunshine. The A to B Spirit alongside discharging containers from Moordyke near Rotterdam. More to the lighter is the Whitstable Marine Services Tug Knighton. We are now passing Rushington, home to Nick Murray's fleet of tugs and craft, and also alongside the old jetty are accommodation barges, and at the end the tug Norcrest.
Well, that's the end of this short video. The next one will be much longer and a trip from the Medway to the Thames, Barking Creek and return. Hope you enjoyed it.